What's up, guys? King of the North. Bringing you a Let's Play slash walkthrough for the wild at heart. This game is currently on the Xbox Game Pass. That's where I found it. It was a free download, so it looked interesting. I picked it up. It reminds me a lot uh, of Pikmin. Uh, it's basically the same kind of mechanics. Using a bunch of little small sprite guys around around and do your dirty work. This does have a pretty interesting story to it. Uh, you know, I, this is one of the things I love about Game Pass. I probably never would have purchased this game. I think it's only like 10 bucks or whatever, but I never would have purchased it. But Game Pass, you know, made it free for me to access. And I fell in love with this game. I played through it already, beat it, and wanted to do a playthrough for YouTube just to have something to look back on and give this game a little bit more attention if possible, because it, it really is amazing. Uh, I think the Pikmin games, games are great. They feel a bit short. And, you know, this is just to me like an extension to that. This game's not very long either, but it's it's great. And I, I really wanted to do a playthrough of it. So I hope you all enjoy uh, my playthrough of this and can enjoy the music. I love the background music and character and stories. Sit back, relax, and let's jump on in. hundred hours it's time okay wake you've prepared for this time to enact the plan we are wake is our name uh, that will get quite confusing people call us wake we're not trying to wake up it's our name just need to gather my supplies from around the room so uh here we are in our room i love the setting that this starts off in a very strong 90s vibe I uh, have some VHS tapes here. Like This is the art style that was on the recording uh, VHS tapes. Record your movies before Evo and uh, all that fancy stuff existed. Here we have a console that looks like a Super Nintendo. Uh, I got very confused when I first saw this. I thought it was referring to a Super Nintendo because of the first line. Kirby. I thought it was referring to Nintendo, but uh, Kirby is somebody in the game that we'll meet later. Kirby and I had some pretty epic kart races around this TV. Too big to take with us, though. Uh, I assume they're talking about Mario Kart. Uh, carving pumpkins. There's a little thing on the wall there. I imagine that's kind of like Smashing Pumpkins, the artist. The Vamp Kids up top is actually a reference to The Lost Boys, which is a vampire movie. And I Want to Leave. I'm not sure what that is in reference to. We also have some blockbuster tapes down here on the left-hand side next to the TV. Pretty cool stuff. I just, I, I like everything that, you know, it, it is starting off. Got a very strong 90s vibe. Makeshift map. A map of the woods behind Wake's house. Perfect for escaping into them. Definitely to scale. My very detailed map of the forest, complete with landmarks. I'd be super lost without this. Got some... Blockos or Legos? I wish I could take some Blockos with me. Some of my best ideas started out with these little guys. And here we have what looks to be a Game Boy. Same color pattern, uh, just a different shape. Gaming system. Hop into your favorite games with the Game Bun Entertainment System. Like I'd go anywhere without my games. Priorities. Damn straight. Stack of papers containing various sketches and blueprints, including something entitled, uh, entitled "Experimental Experiment Code Name Zool." I might as well bring up these other blueprints too. Wouldn't want them falling into the wrong hands. Okay, I've got everything down here. I'm the head upstairs. But uh, very cool room. I dig it. Head up. Make sure we flush the toilet. He's gone. Good. 
made some field rations this morning before he left. I just need to grab them. We need to go out back. Easiest way to the woods. Jeez, the cushions permanently sunk in with a butt print. He seriously watches too much TV. Okay. Couple of these. Chomps. Cheesy chippers. Delicious, crunchy goodness. Guaranteed cheese fingers after every bag. Looks like Doritos to me. Ooh, a bag of chomps. Got I hid these in here. I'll bring them along. Might be handy in a pinch. Oh crap, I was supposed to wash these. Oh well, no time now. All the sustenance needed for an extended secret mission, homemade PB and J. Can't go wrong with PB and J. These should last a while. One thing left to do, I guess. I'm leaving, not that you care. Don't come looking for me. Wake. Whatever. He probably won't read it anyways. Time to go. Like hell I'm going in there. Alright, let's head out the back door. Backyard. Pick up. Gust Buster. Wake's self-constructed vacuum. Useful for sucking up all kinds of things. So we are not a Ghostbuster, but a Gustbuster. Some balls here. Right, the day I lost my shadow. I refuse to let Dad take it down. I miss you, little dude. We'll clean up the leaves here and pick up some scrap. We can kick things. Won't be doing too much of this through the playthrough, uh, but early on it's useful. We're gonna want this scrap. Look at our scrap right now, which is we have 63. Seems like a lot, but I believe me, it's not. Backyard key. Rusty old key for the back gate. It's a wonder this thing hasn't been permanently misplaced. I've planned this for months. She'll know what to do. I just hope she's able to make it out okay. Time to get the heck out of here. How's Kirby going to find me now? Huh? Hello? Who's there? Whoa, what are you? Hey, wait. Okay, where we go? 
Make sure we get our scrap here. Uh, these little pinwheels will give us scrap as well. We're going to want all the scrap we can get. We give a pretty good, good, uh, good amount of scrap, in my opinion. Hey. What's with this weird old gate? Spin the pinwheel. Open the gate. First of many puzzles completed. Again. Right. Around the little pond here. Pinwheel. Got another wheel here. This one should open the gate. There we go. Open this up. A lot of scrap already. 220 pieces of it. Too bad. A good start. 31. I need a lot more than that, though. Wow, look at that tree. Well, I guess I'm going in. Hope that little dude isn't just getting me more lost. Here goes nothing. Fall. Now where am I? So, she let you in after all. Interesting. She was debating for quite some time. Who are you? Old weirdo. My folk call me Greycoat. You have entered the deep woods. You are allowed here. Probably. Ray Coat? That's your name? I think so. Okay, but your coat is more of like a greenish brown. This is a different coat. You are. Wake. Wake. Hmm. Wake. What an oddly pleasant name, probably. Well, hello again. There you are, Brussel. You know good and well that you're not supposed to leave the deep woods. It's not every day that a sprightling befriends an outsider. That you can even see them is a feat in itself, probably. You're a strangely small and unwrinkled old man. Are you ill? You should tell me if you are. What? I'm not an old man. Hmm, Russell tells me they found you crying? Why? No, I wasn't. I... So what? It's rude to sneak up on people. What even is that creature? Whoa there, unwrinkled one. There will be time for questions later, probably. I must hasten to my people. There is much stuff to be done. Besides, the dark will be coming soon. And what is it that we always say about the dark? Hmm. Who's we? I just met you. Incorrect. We say the dark is bad. The dark is bad. Good. Okay. Let that be your first lesson. First lesson? Take this. It is an item most essential to the people of my order. Behold, I give you shiny rock. 
Shiny rock, a fragment of a fallen star. Shiny rock can create projections of those who carry pieces from the same star. It's a crystal? Hmm, I don't know. We call it shiny rock. Shiny rock will guide you, probably. Guide me where? Wait. Nature who? Take me to the, um, the place. The, uh, uh, foliage? The grove, that's it, huh? I almost forgot what our village was called. That would have been embarrassing. Bye-bye. I must be dreaming. Kirby's never gonna believe this. The undergrowth. Little scrap here, so that's nice. Wake. Wake. Can you hear me? Huh? The crystal's talking? Raycode, is that you? How are you doing this? Shiny rock. It allows communication between all wearers. Does it always feel this weird? You will eventually become used to the side effects of the mind link, probably. Wait, there's a fellow of mine up ahead, a member of our order. His name is Scrap Heap. Scrap Heap? Your friend's name is Scrap Heap. Indeed. He will help you, probably. And through traversing the undergrowth may seem, though, uh, and although, and though traversing the undergrowth may seem daunting, the sprightling are often keen to help. Spritelings? You mean the little yellow guys? Quite so. They're denzies of this world, and dare I say part of the deep woods itself. Use them for guidance. We'll know what to do. With your device and their aid, you should easily be able to make it to Scrap Heap, right? But how do I contact you on this thing? Ah, yes, well, I usually just picture the person in my head and then loudly scream their name into the crystal. That seems to work some of the time. Okay. No time to waste. Onward. All right. So, we got our first sprightling here. Oh, hey there. Hiding in a leaf pile, huh? Cool. Cool. Well, you're welcome to join me. That gray coat guy said you might be able to get... But you might be able to help get me out of here. Seems happy to help us. These curious little creatures can pick up resources, break down walls, attack enemies, and much more. All they need is a little direction. Just throw them near a desired target and they'll get going. Wigglings are fast workers and immune to toxic gases. It's also rumored that they can make things grow, but no one's seen it done in quite some time. Right? So they can attack these trash bags here to help us out. They're uh, our basic worker for now. And these are poison mushrooms. We'll take care of the poison mushrooms. We can attack those. Uh, we will take damage. Uh, we have three hearts right now. Top left in the corner. down and our bonfire won't rest that looks like firelink shrine wake scrap heap should be just beyond that huge boulder great sigh twiglings must have moved it well you can move it back you can direct your spritling to move heavy objects but you'll need a fair few of them to do it Explore the undergrowth and gather more Spritelings. Okay. So we'll see if we can find any more of these little guys. Out and about. Got more mushrooms here. Obviously, these tasks will become a lot easier as we pick up more of our friends. Okay. Get his attention. Throw him. Get him to start doing some for more work here. we go. More scrap. Have them open this up while I attack. Oh. Get you in there as well. 
Didn't throw him far enough. He's just staring. He's shy. He can't do anything with crystals yet. Okay. First enemy. Mushroom guy. Uh, we can go in here and give them some help. This uh, blue orb that you just saw is actually another kind of currency. It will um, be looked at a little bit more later. For now, we'll make sure we get as much stuff as we possibly can. man down. So we have three now. We can actually get quite a few. Uh, the cap is quite large for these guys. Um, like I said our tasks will kind of uh, move along a lot quicker as we get more friends to help us out. But we should have enough to move this boulder now. Whoa, good job. Forgotten path. Uh, filled with a lot of forgotten stuff. Another kind of pile, we'll get into that later. When we're doing that, we'll spin this little pinwheel here all the scrap we can. There's a lot of scrap in this area. Go. More of this loot orb stuff here. Gotta be careful too. It, it is possible to leave your Spriteling dudes behind. They're also able to reach some of these boxes in areas like this. Nothing we're gonna be able to do over this way. Can't pull that yet. So we will hop on down. It's a different kind of uh, toolbox here. You see they can bring stuff to us. We have an action bar. We can ask them to drop things, separate, and deliver to stash. For now, we'll ask them to drop items. And uh, we'll, uh, don't change a thing, you perfect little beauties. They, uh, they seem to appreciate that. Hey. We will answer that in a second. Even though it's not our phone. Uh, I just want to grab some of the basic stuff here. Save the game. Stop right there. Huh? Uh, the kettle weirdo. It kind of looks like a um, heap of scrap or something. Get away from my trove of riches. How came you upon this hallowed meadow, oh tiny unwrinkled old man? I'm not an old man, I'm 12. Ha! Huh. Twelve is a number. Numbers can't be people. Nice try. I'm trying to find someone. Uh, Scrap Heap? Hmm. A man named Greycoat gave me this crystal, and these little yellow guys helped me move this big rock and crystal, you say? So, it is true then. Greycoat said he found a potential new recruit. New recruit? To what? I am Scrap Heap. Master Builder and Tinkerer for the Green Shield Order in these of these deep woods. Oh, I'm weak. I'm something of a builder myself. Wake, you say? That doesn't sound like it should be a name. <laughs> oh my god, how intriguing. Uh, do you know where I came from? Uh, uh, do you know where I can find Greycoat? Indeed, however... 
Hmm. Yes. Yes, Steve. At the camp, indeed. Who are you talking to? Is that Greycoat? Russell said that? <laughs> I'll droll. Yes, yes. Tomorrow would be best. I agree, too. <clears throat> Apprentice. Apprentice. The day's light fails. We will not make it to the next camp in time. We must stay here through the night. Rest now if you can. I'll keep a watch most vigilant. Why do you not rest? Is there something on your mind? Um, What's a green shield? What's a green shield? Why our order, of course. Protectors and stewards of these deep woods. We protect various creatures that dwell here, as well as mend the border of your world as needed. But you can use, like, magic and stuff? Why, of course. Can't you? Not that I know of. Hmm. I'd wager you're more capable than you think. But, of course, as with all skills, some individuals are quite more adept than others. Greycoat, for example, is likely the most capable among us. Though he's never been quite the same since he lost that other coat. <laughs> uh, scrap heap? Hmm? What's your, you know, real name? Scrap heap is my name. No, I mean, what was your name when you were born that your mother gave you? Never had another name that I can recall. I've always been Scrap Heap. Huh, okay. And Greycoat? Always been Greycoat. As with all the others. The others. Do not rest, uh, nothing. Rest now, apprentice. We rise at dawn. There's much to do. Say, what is it now? You want a PB and J? I can really go for a snack. PB and come here. Get in on this. I'm starving. Not gonna share with the sprightlings. Oh, a jelly confection. What is this place? Bottles on the ground, a can? More recycle? Kind of like our living room? Eerie figure. Wake. Dad? Master Wake, how was your slumber? Bad dreams. I had some weird dreams. Worry not, we all have here. Dreams of strange things, of ourselves leading odd, confounding lives. You become used to them, eventually. Oh, I must beg your pardon. I couldn't help but notice your advice. Yeah, it's my newest invention? What do you think? I think... I think you're quite the genius. However, we may be able to enhance it. You care to, that is. Definitely. I even already have some plans I've been working on. Where do we start? Near this camp, there should be ample materials, quite literally just lying around. If you were to bring me, say, five loose parts and 200 scrap, I believe I could augment that, augment the device in no time. And why don't you also... And why don't you also hand off these plans of yours? I shall incorporate them in. Really? Cool, I'm on it. Alright, so... I... don't think I have the... five things of... spare parts or whatever it is. Uh, we can grab those now, though. I think I was two off. Poop fruit, that is a healing item.
quick. Now goes your search. Bring me the necessary materials and I will enhance the butt guster. <laughs> it's Gus Buster and I'm working on it. Okay, so we have enough. Yeah, we got our blueprints, six of five and 200 scrap. Gus Buster Plus. Weak self-constructed vacuum, now augmented by scrap heap for added strength. Use low power to collect small things. Recall idle sprightling and affect lightweight obstacles. Use high power to suck up heavier objects like uh, suck up heavier objects like resources and sprightlings and pull down trickier obstacles. There we are. One enhanced bust guster. Awesome. Way more power. All in a day's work. Now, I must secure a payload from last eve if the sprightlings haven't scattered it across the woods, that is. Huh. I will move on to the next area where my camp proper wait. I thought this was your camp. I've set up several stations throughout the deep woods to be able to craft as well as safely avoid the night. During your time here, you may well you may well have to do the same. Anyway. But worry not, the woods are nigh harmless under the sun's resplendent gaze. Just don't mistake a gumplops placid countenance for kindness. Gumblops? Ta for now. Okay. So we have uh, super strength suction. Um, this is pretty fun to use. It's going to help us out a lot, especially with um, things like this. But uh, that's going to do it for now, guys. I'll try to keep these to roughly 30 minutes. Hope you uh, enjoy this series as much as I enjoyed this game. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all deeper into the woods. Peace.